Have you ever been curious to know what the audio production launch box looks like at Full Sail University? Well, I got mine. Let's find out together. What is going on everybody welcome back to another video my name is tyler runyon do me a favor before we get started go ahead and like and subscribe as well as follow that link in the description to DistroKid, which is going to save you a little bit of money if you want your music heard on spotify apple music title you name it it does give me a little bit of a kickback and it does save you a little bit of money all right so before we get started quick disclaimer this launch box is for the audio production degree program and it's currently dated in August of 2024. So please take it with a grain of salt if you're attending the audio production degree and you're watching this way after I, uh, I've uploaded this, okay? Um, I've also already gone through the contents of everything just for uh, verification purposes and inventory, as well as getting everything transferred over to the, the new M3 Mac um, from the old Intel version. But I'll try to keep it as... Uh, plain Jane as possible and let you guys see everything. All right, for, for the first box, it's gonna include your uh, your studio monitors, okay? So what they are given out are the Personas Area Studio 4s, okay? these This brand just came out as far as the studio lineup. Um, Personas is a pretty decent brand. It's got me, got me by for quite a while. I won't be opening up these boxes today, but because I used uh, Personas before on uh, on my own behalf, I do have one of my old monitors. I can show you what it looks like. So these are the Personas Aries XT5s, which the Studio Series has pretty much upgraded to. Again, this is old gen. This is current gen, what's in the box, okay? The other main differences from the uh, XT5s and the Studio 4s is you're getting a 5-inch uh, driver versus a 4-inch driver, okay? These were like the flagship model when I got them. Um, but they've obviously since upgraded and went the studio lineup. Uh, great studio monitor. Um, the hookups from the Studio 4s and the Aries lineup are exactly the same. You're going to be able to tune your uh, your monitor itself. It's going to feature both TRS, tip ring sleeve, as well as XLR outputs for you to hook up directly to your interface or monitor controller if you have one. Um, as well as your power connector. And your on-off switch. Each each one of these monitors are active monitors, so you will need to make sure that you have two wall sockets available uh, for you to plug these guys into. Um, the Studio Fours aren't too big, especially compared to the uh, um, a five-inch driver. But I would still recommend you getting a set of speaker stands if you don't have the desk space. It's going to help isolate a little thing, a little bit for you. So all right. So next up you are going to get a uh, little bit of a USB hub. Looks like they're uh, USB 3.0 ports uh, going into a uh, Thunderbolt connection, which is great for your Mac because that's only Thunderbolt connection, obviously. Sure SM57. These are great all around awesome instrument mics. They're the industry standard. You're going to find these literally everywhere. I would highly recommend you buy a lot more of these just for your own mic locker. You can never get enough of them and they'll, they're will they pretty much built like a tank. You can literally chuck these across the room and it'll last. Really great mics, get a lot more of them. The uh, Sennheiser HD 280 Pro. These are gonna be the uh, studio headphones that they're gonna give you. I really dislike these. Um, I, I think they're great for what they do, and they definitely are a great starter type of uh, uh, studio headphone, but I, I just felt like it was like very dis uncomfortable, like especially on, around the halo. Uh, there was a lot of downward pressure on the, the top of my head, as well as the cups. Um, the actual headphone cups, they don't really breathe a whole lot, so you're going to get really sweaty. I didn't care for them. They do the job. Um... 
I don't think they're going to give you the best accuracy when it comes down to mixing and mastering. Um, really and truly, the way I use my 280s are pretty much their, the throwaway headphones whenever I get a client inside the, the studio here. And I need a closed back headphone for them to wear. Eventually, all my 280s that I have in my in my repertoire, they're going to get uh, phased out to a pair of Audio Technica some, someday down the road. Haven't quite got there yet. I've had other priorities kind of take over. But yeah, they're giving out the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. The next thing on the list is the Zoom H5 Handy Recorder. This is going to be your field recorder. It's going to feature two XLR inputs at the bottom, as well as a uh, traditional, uh, I believe, what, eighth inch uh, headphone jack for you to pretty much hook up a generic microphone up to. Pretty much your just, just overall, overall uh, field recorder. Next up is the Audio Technica AT2035. I have no experience with this microphone other than uh, what I briefly looked up on uh, Sweetwater. It is a uh, lower end microphone as far as price range. I have no idea how it sounds like, so I can't give you any reference from there. Audio Technica is a really good brand, so I'd imagine it'd be a uh, pretty decent quality. I did open up this one just to kind of feel the, um, um, the weight of it. And it's actually, it feels premium. Um, don't get me wrong. It, it feels like a pretty, pretty solid microphone. Um, I don't know what the capsule inside is. I don't know. Again, I don't know how it sounds. Um, but I can, I can figure that out for you. No problem. But yeah, that's the microphone that they're giving you. So they are including a couple TRS cables, your tip ring sleeve cables, as well as a couple XLR cables, which is going to be awesome. Make sure you invest in a lot more of these. If you guys are serious about your audio journey, anytime you decide to invest in yourself at any audio store, whether that be Sweetwater, Guitar Center, your mom and pop local shop, if you're making a purchase for audio equipment or a brand new instrument, I would highly suggest, if you have the extra funds to do so, always just make it a habit to pick up a couple TRS cables or a couple XLR cables and start building up your cable locker. You will be surprised how fragile these guys can be, and it'll save your butt someday down the road if you're able to just replace one on the fly. So it's nice. All right. I'm not going to pull the other one up, but you are getting two Hosa microphone stands. I believe these are uh, Euro mount stands, meaning that they got the traditional flip down that comes down from them. Or you can uh, pull them off, pull the Euro mount off of it and make it just tra traditional mic stand. From there, you're getting the zoom windscreen that's going to go onto your field recorder. You're getting an eye lock and you're getting a memory card for that zoom uh, field recorder. All right, next up on the list is the Focusrite 18i20. This is going to be your audio interface. It's rack mountable. Um, it's got 18 inputs, 20 outputs, hence the name. Your, uh, your 19 and 20 for your output are going to be your outputs to your uh, studio monitors. Uh, overall, this is a great interface. Uh, they've since upgraded to the Gen 4s. This is a Gen 3 model is what they're, they're uh, still giving out. I'd imagine here in the next month or so, they're going to be upgrading to the Gen 4s. No real difference other than just a uh, design readjustment from what I've seen. Um, but I'm still rocking the 18i20. Uh, mine's operating as a uh, slave unit to the Apollo when I upgraded. Um, I'm running that just for extra I.O. via ADAT, which you guys will learn about later down the road, I'm sure. Um, great workhorse. I enjoyed it. And yeah, is really, really good. Can't say nothing bad about the focus right. Your next big toy is going to be your Novation Launch Key. Now, this one's new for me. When I initially attended Full Sail, they gave me the uh, the 25 key version of this. So I think it's really cool that uh, they're upgrading to at least provide students with a 49 key version. Just because I felt super, super limited on just messing around with the 25 key. 
I, I really couldn't do anything like that 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 I really wanted to. I, I was super limited. Um, I didn't really get to mess with the 25 key too much just because I, I was running the Alesis VI61, which is a 61 key keyboard until that kind of hit the bucket. Um, and then I did eventually go down to the 25 key until I ended up upgrading to the uh, um, Contact S88. Uh, this guy's freaking awesome. I love it. it. It's fully weighted and everything. This guy, I believe, is semi-weighted. Um, but regardless, having... Having extra keys is going to do you guys wonders. Um, and it looks like it does have faders on it. So you guys will be able to do a little bit of mixing on there. They're not recallable. That I do know. So that means uh, you guys will have to reset everything if you guys are mixing on, on the Novation itself. But I think it's still cool that it's still offered on there. Outside of that, you guys are getting the, uh, the most current up-to-date Mac computer. Uh, for August of 2024, that is the M3 chip until the uh, M4 chips come out later later down the road. But yeah, that's the uh, that, that's the launch box, guys. Um, outside of that, you're getting uh, certain software such as Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton. Um, I think Alan Parsons, which is a supplemental type learning book, um, as well as pretty much everything just to get you up and running and for you to successfully complete your classes. My software is a little bit different just because a lot of the stuff I already had coming from the music production side. So those will vary and I can't give you a definitive answer on that because again, Full Sail changes their launch box on a uh, month to month basis, it seems. Uh, for example, the on-campus students now and the online music production guys They've upgraded from the old Focusrite 2i2, and those guys are now starting to get the uh, Universal Audio Volt, which is an amazing uh, audio interface, especially for the entry-level type audio interface. Freaking awesome. Uh, I really wish we would have gotten that right off the get-go, um, especially since I hear it plays nice with the, the bigger Apollos. So, a little jealous, but I don't need it. I'm not going back and picking one of those up. But other than that, guys, yeah, that's that's the launch box. Again, this is for August of 2024. Things do change, um, so take everything with a grain of salt if you're watching this way down the line. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care, y'all.